Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the definition of discrete time Fourier transform and also a couple of examples illustrating the DTFT. The discrete time Fourier transform can be defined as follows. Discrete time Fourier transform. which is known as DTFT in short can be defined as follows that is for a sequence x of n that is a discrete time sequence x of n that is absolutely summable that is absolutely summable which basically means that the summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity absolute value of the time sequence that is the discrete sequence should be less than infinity that is if this sum is less than infinity then the sequence x of n is absolutely summable then so if this condition is satisfied then the DTFT exists and is defined as x of e power j omega equal to equal to the summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n multiplied by e power minus j omega n. So this is the definition of a discrete time Fourier transform. Note that this transform is a continuous function. of the digital frequency omega. Omega is the digital frequency. And omega usually belongs to the interval 0 to 2 pi or minus pi to plus pi. And this, and this is usually measured in radians per sample. Now let us look at an example. 1 given the sequence x of n equal to 0 0.5 power n multiplied by the unit step function u of n or the unit step sequence u of n. We can clearly see that the sum of the absolute value of x of n for values of n from minus infinity to plus infinity is equal to the sum n equal to 0 to infinity 0 0.5 power n which is clearly less than infinity. Therefore, the DTFT exists and it is defined as e power j omega x of e power j omega equal to the sum n equal to 0 to infinity 0 0.5 power n into e power minus j omega n which can be rewritten as summation n equal to 0 to infinity 0 0.5 into e power minus j omega whole power n. Now this is like a infinite sum with the parameter alpha power n and clearly the absolute value of alpha is always less than or equal to 1. So it should be equal to 1 by 1 minus 0 0.5 into e power minus e power minus j omega because we are using the formula of the sum n equal to 0 to infinity alpha power n for absolute value of alpha less than 1 it should be equal to 1 by 1 minus alpha. So this is the discrete time Fourier transform of x of n equal to 0.5 power n for n greater than 0. So this is equal to this can also be written as e power j omega by e power j omega minus 0.5. But this is done by simply multiplying e power j omega to the to both the numerator and the denominator. This is x of e power j omega. Clearly, the DTFT is a complex function, whereas the sequence x of n is a real function or a real sequence. However, the DTFT is a complex valued function. Now, let us look at its corresponding plots. This is the Python code that can be used to generate the to generate both the 
amplitude spectrum and the phase spectrum of the function x of n or the sequence x of n. This plot shows the function x of n equal to 0 0.5 power n for n greater than 0 that is 0.5 power n into unit step sequence. So the value is greater at n equal to 0 and gradually decreases and gets close to 0 as n becomes very large. So this is the function or the sequence x of n. So when we take the dtft of this fun sequence we get the following ddft. So the blue curve basically shows the amplitude spectrum of x of e power j omega that is that is absolute value of this function which is given by x of e power j omega absolute value should be equal to absolute value of e power j omega divided by absolute value of e power j omega minus 0.5. The numerator is clearly equal to 1 and the denominator is absolute value of e power j omega minus 0.5. So this is the amplitude spectrum which is shown by the blue curve. And the green one depicts the phase spectrum that is that is phase of x of e power j omega is equal to the argument of the function e power j omega. And this value can be determined simply by looking at the tan inverse of the imaginary component of the function x of e power j omega over the real component of x of e power j omega. So this function gives us the phase spectrum which is given in the which is given by the green plot. Now let us look at a second example for DTFT. X of n is given by the following sequence of values 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and this is n equal to 0. That is the value is 2 for n equal to 0 and for n equal to minus 1 it is 1 and n equal to 1 it is 3 and so on. So given this sequence, the DDFT is given by the sum n equal to minus 1 to 3 x of n e power minus j omega n. Clearly this sequence is absolutely summable because these are all finite values and we, we only have a finite number of values. So the sum is still a finite value. So the DTFT is given by for n equal to minus 1 it is 1 into e power plus j omega n. And for n equal to 0 this is just 2 and for n equal to 3 it is 3 times e power minus j omega. And n equal to 4 n equal to 2 it is for n equal to 1 it is 3 times e power j omega. For n equal to 2 it is 4 times e power minus 2j omega and for n equal to 3 it is 5 times minus 3j omega. So this sum is the DTFT of the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for n equal to minus 1 to 3. Thus to summarize for a sequence x of n if it is absolutely summable that is its that is if the sum of its absolute values is less than infinity then the DTFT exists and it is given by this formula which is basically a linear combination of the sequence with the exponentials e power minus j omega n. So this linear combination gives us the DTFT and the DTFT is a continuous function of the digital frequency omega and we can also use the definition to calculate the DTFT of absolutely summable sequences such as 0.5 power n into u of n. Thanks for watching.